the season, the season's been pretty great so far. Um, what are we like, 13 and five? So we have like a good winning record. Um, the teammates that I play with, we're good. Like I feel like our chemistry is good. We're playing hard. We could play even harder to win the games that we're supposed to be winning. Um, so this season, like we all have really good chemistry together, like on and off the court. Like we're all like really good friends. So I think that really helps us. Like once we get on the court, because we also are really good at like holding each other accountable for when we make a mistake. Like we don't get upset when somebody says something to you or calls you out because like that's like the game. And like obviously like people are gonna make mistakes. So but like uh, overall like we we work really well together. Um, we started out with more players than we have now, but um, I think that the team that we have now is stronger. Um, I think that we can make it far if we work hard. Um, playing for Coach Foley is definitely a trip. <laughs> um, he has a lot of energy, more than you would expect, but it's definitely something that you can learn from and take from, whether it's a life lesson through basketball or just basketball-oriented overall. But, I enjoy it. It's interesting. He has like so much knowledge because he's been around the game for like a really long time. So like where I like my high school, like my coach never played basketball. So their like coaching is very different because he coaches based off his experiences. So it's like really cool because like he has like a first-hand approach to everything that he's teaching us. <laughs> I love playing for him. Like he taught me a lot ever since I've been here. I came here in 2016 and I feel like I've grown a lot as a player and person. I'm pretty sure that even at 71, he could still take me one-on-one. -on -one. Who inspired me to play basketball, I would have to say is my brother, because he used to play years, years, years before me, because we're 12 years apart. So I feel like he inspired me to play basketball and helped me out a little bit. I, um, my favorite basketball player, I would have to say, is Bia Hartley. Like, I watched her when she played in Yukon. She's also from Long Island, from the Fab. So just watching her is like a great inspiration. Um, Julie Williams inspired me to play basketball when I was younger because I saw her playing uh, while she was going through high school and then she ended up playing in college too, so that was cool. Um, I feel like Suffolk and Nassau, you know, it's, um, we're a rivalry because we're the only teams on Long Island, so we gotta figure out who's the queen of the court. Um, it's definitely real and my, uh, most of my family actually went to Nassau, so it's kind of cool because like they're all gonna come to the game and they went to the game at Nassau. So it's just like, a, it's kind of like now a family rivalry too, because they're all like, oh, the lines are better. And I'm like, no, it's sharks all the way. Um, it's definitely true. I believe, I mean, I have some friends that played for Nassau. Um, I didn't get to play them because last season we didn't play, but I think that on the court, yeah, it's definitely a big rivalry. Um, we're nicer. I don't think that the lines are nice. Last time we played them, they just are not my, like, I don't think that I would get along with any of the people on their team. And I just think that, like, overall it's about sportsmanship at the end of the day. I think we're better, only because, like, it's a, it's a mix of people. Like, I think that, you know, everyone thinks that Suffolk is soft, so, like, we always have something to prove. And, like, Nassau, like, tends to have some people from the city, you know, so we always have to prove ourselves, and that just makes us a little bit better than Nassau.